Hi, this is Warren Starter, and this is a review of the SH Figure Arts uh, War Machine Mark III from the movie uh, Captain America Civil War. So this is the packaging, um, very bland in, in my opinion. Um, so you have the SH Figure Arts blurb, all of the logos underneath, and the figure itself. And then it, what it looks like on top, bottom, side, and side, and then at the back poses for uh, War Machine. I'm excited for this review, so I hope you are too. Let's get into it. The SH Figures War Machine Mark III is more like a cross between Mark II than Iron Man Mark VII. It is now bulkier and the biggest difference so far is the shoulder cannon that tilts to the front rather than being held like a small turret. Other details that are new include the number 3 markings and the Air Force insignia on the shoulders. For those with a keen eye, there is an Ultron Sentry kill count of 22 on the right side of War Machine's armor, predominantly on Mark III's chest. Accessories will be familiar to those who have been collecting War Machine in SHF. These are 8 hands with 2 of them that have pegs on the palms, 7 repulsor or shooting or flight effects, but the latest addition is the War Machine Hammer. So let's go through the articulation points for the figure. We have a nice head and neck joint right here. You can go sw uh, swivel from side to side. Uh, the shoulder armor goes up and down. Um, it doesn't go in and out. You can rotate the arm if you want to. And then we have an upper bicep swivel right here. Double jointed elbow, a wrist joint, upper torso and waist, very flexible. I like what uh, it is and then we have some flaps right here that you can move up so you can ha have a better range of motion for the leg you can go front and back and also do the splits mm, very articulated right here you can even pull down one side to uh, have that maximum reach um, if you want to just be careful on the uh, flaps right here because um, there they are on a very thin joint you might break it. I've seen it uh, quite a lot in um, different Facebook groups. Um, double jointed knees, um, very familiar if you have a lot of um, SS Regards uh, Iron Man or War Machine figures. Uh, we have an ankle joint right here. You can go front and back. Um, there's additional panel at the back so you can um, really uh, move the ankle or the foot all the way back but it will be um, kind of hindered because of the armor part right here and a toe joint that is sometimes um, unusable for most of the Iron Man or War Machine uh, figures. And then the cannon right here, like I mentioned uh, earlier, you can move it up to go all the way and lock to on the um, shoulders of War Machine. And then the gun right here can move um, left and right because it's standing on one peg. And um, the details right here, I kind of like it because um, you have your uh, stars and insignia right here. Um, I'm not so sure what this is for, but I think it's the number of kills that he had uh, previously. I'm not so sure. I have to research about it. So uh, he does have guns on both wrists. And uh, this is what it looks like at the back. Um, the shoulder uh armor um if i say so myself uh it's not detachable so you cannot switch from this side to the, uh, the gun from this side to sit this side like uh previous uh war machine figures overall i do like the entire look i like the matte uh finish or paint application in this and um, there are numbers right here that indicates that this is a third edition of the uh, War Machine. So um, those are the things that you need to know about the War Machine in SH Frigard. War Machine Mark III is a mix of something old and something new. It has the same die-cast feet and sturdy joint system that is very rare nowadays in most Marvel SH Frigard lines. Now with a different take making the figure more flexible despite the bulkiness of it. I also feel that Bandai somewhat changed the material as this is super light than of Mark I or Mark II. I'm glad Bandai didn't skip this version because I would like to see all War Machine's development throughout the series. And that is my review of the SH Regards War Machine Mark III. If you want to know the post movies for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video. And don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more SH Regards reviews.